this is Hunter Tube back again. And today, we are here with another review. And this is another review on one of my birthday presents. And the review is going to be on... The Play Rail Thomas and Friends Roller Coaster Mountain Set. Or as known as in Japanese, Doki Doki Mountain Seto. So basically, this is going to be a long review, people. And you're going to have to stay and watch it all. So basically, this set is basically the re-release of the 2007 version. Because there are some differences. Oh, yes, there are some differences. This is the 2014 re-release version. Instead of the 2007 version. So there are some differences, and we're going to take a look at them. Or we might. So either way, let's get to looking at the box. There's lots of Japanese writing that I have no idea what it means or says. But it says that it's a train, it has a rail, it has seam parts, and it's for ages 3 and up. And it's by Takura Tommy. Two companies joined together in one. Either way, let's look at the side. So there's more Japanese writing. I have no idea what it means. The top, it says all that. Uh, the other side is the same as the other side. And then basically, here's the back of the box. It says, Playroom, Thomas and Friends, Roller Coaster Mountain Set. Set includes, I'm just guessing. Then here's all the parts. Thomas, engine, one. Whatever, straight rail, three, half a straight rail, five. Look how many curves you get. Curve rail, 16 curves, people. Like I said, you get many curves with train sets, but not very many straights. And then basically, he goes to a tunnel, he goes up the mountain, and then he goes down and he drops all his logs. And then here's the track layout. Basically, the back of the box is the instructions. So we're looking at the instructions right now. And then there's a stop, go, lever, stickers, how to put the batteries in, Thomas, how to couple them up to his load, how to put the mountain together, and warnings and everything. So, yeah. No need to worry, the set is over there. Not with all the pieces put together, because I had to smaller it up, because it needs to be in the space of the super station, because something else is there. Whoa, you just got a sneak peek. Either way, let's get to looking at Mr. Thomas next. But before we do that, we have other sheets of paper to go through. Here is a sheet of paper with lots of Japanese writing on it. Telling you not to get it in your hair. Has some information about other things you can get. Like a replacement. Some traction tires. And some extra couplings. There's a telephone number. Which we won't be able to call. And there's nothing on the back. And then here's this. I don't know what this is. So if any of you can scan that. Try and do it for me. See if it does something. I'll hold it there for a bit. Yeah, I don't know if it'll do anything. And then there's a code, which you'll probably have to enter in next. There's something. And then you'll have to scan the barcode of your item. I'm guessing that's what you do. So either way, let's get to looking at this very epic looking Thomas. So here it is. Here is the Playrail Thomas. I'm not kidding. This is a real legit Playrail Thomas. It has the white running board, lamp painted, buffers painted, coupling hook painted, a shark face, detailed things, red lines, and it even has a back tail lamp and back buffers painted. Let's take a look at this Thomas. Compared to a Trapmaster 2 Thomas of today. So here is the Trapmaster 2 Thomas. And already I can see loads of differences. 
Look at this. This one has the white running board. This one doesn't. This one has painted buffers and coupling hooks. This one doesn't. This one has its iron lamp irons painted. This one doesn't. This one has a shark face. That one doesn't, but that doesn't matter. This one has... They both have painted... Whatever those are. Uh... I already tell that, uh... They're sort of the same way. The couplings are different. The, uh, side rods are different. Yeah, this is a totally different thing than the play rail. So, uh... This doesn't freewheel. This freewheels. Yeah. Totally differences. So many differences. This has a back lamp. This one has nothing. You see this? It has nothing. Look at this. Poirot has back buffers. This one doesn't. Bumato, what are you thinking? You are being very lazy. Now get out of here. And praise this thing. Fine Poirot, everyone, is the best thing ever made. Anyway, let's get him out of here. And look at this cargo car. So here is the cargo car. It's just a red flatbed. And if you didn't know, red's my favorite color. And either way, you can put the logs in here. And then Thomas has his load. So yeah. Also, this is one of the differences with the set. The old version, it came with two troublesome trucks. In this version, you get a flatbed with logs that spills out when he goes down the hill. See, either way, let's push this aside and look at the set itself. So here it is. Here is Roller Coaster Mountain. So basically, Thomas will go around. He would normally go through the tunnel, but I can't make the real setup because it would go over Superstation. And then he would come around, go up the mountain, to the little tunnel thing, past that, which would normally be different in the original version. Then he would go down this very steep hill. And then he would come around and back. Also, he would drop the logs on the hill. And basically, then you would have to stop him and reload his logs. So, yeah. And then basically, now let's look at the differences. There, there wouldn't be any waterfalls on the original version. There would be a plastic thing up here instead of a sticker on the original version. The tunnel deck uh, would have been different in the original. Uh, this thing would have been different. Um, there wouldn't have been another waterfall. This probably would have been different. It would have been a different tunnel deco sticker thing. Also, the original would have had less stickers to put on. Either way, let's get this Thomas running, shall we? So, we'll turn Thomas on in 3, 2, 1, and he will go and go. Now, he'll come around. He's coming around. Then he'll come up here. Up the steep slope through the tunnel. And oh no, look out! Woo! And you were supposed to drop your logs, Thomas. This set likes to fail a couple. This set likes to miss properly work. There, he dropped two of them. That's the best I can do. And then basically you're supposed to stop this. Let him come around and then reload the logs. That's how you're supposed to play this play it. Then you basically set him off on his merry way again. Then he'll do it all over again. He'll come around. Come under here. Come up here. Come around. And whoop! He'll drop his logs. Well, sometimes. And then he'll come around here, and then you'll have to reload him. 
Either way, let's run Thomas and a couple other engines on this thing. And then we'll give this set a bit of an upgrade. Now that I ran a couple of engines, it's time to expand this thing. And the place that has been expanded. Oh, and sorry if you hear noise, it's Dad taking a shower. So basically, I combined Roller Coaster Mountain with the Shaking Bridge set. Basically, I don't have it. Basically, I just used a knockoff piece of it because I do have the knockoff version of this set of the shaking bridge set so basically uh, I don't have the actual set but it's close enough and I didn't make the exact configuration because I don't have the exact set either way let's give Thomas a run around the upgraded track so basically I turn him on then he goes then he'll come around, he'll come up the mountain of course, and then he sees, oh no, it's a shaking bridge, ah! 
And then he goes down and spills all his logs. Well, sort of. Sort of not. And then basically you, he comes around and you stop him and you basically refill his logs. Either way, I'll run Thomas and a couple engines on here so you can see them running on the expanded version.
and that was the review and double run of the roller coaster mountain set made by Playrail. Basically, I'd give this set a perfect 10 out of 10 because it is one of the best sets Playrail has ever made. And I simply agree with that. And basically, I agree that every Playrail set, well, almost every Playrail set, is a 10 out of 10. So this is HunterTube saying thank you so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. And the next and final review of all my birthday presents will be... Multifunctional station set.